Hi guys, Gabbles Gaming here. I have just been playing two hours to three hours with the Elite Barbarians. Uh, they are a tricky card to use, they're very quick. They're sort of like, you kind of want to use them on the counter attack and just plop them down, but they're quite easy to distract, um, making it very difficult for you to get any damage off with them. That being said, all it takes is one little slip up uh, for the opponent to maybe not put down a ground unit uh, or or just does, doesn't react in time, and they can do quite a bit of damage. Here we see a mistake on my behalf. I drop down a giant, and my opponent, Avi Knight, drops down the, the, the elite barbarians immediately, and they rinse, absolutely destroy that tower, doing something like just nearly 2,000 damage. I it was, it was a bit of a mistake on my behalf as well. I, pro, I should have dropped down the elite barbarians, but I wanted to build up a perfect push, but that is just a, a very good example of what they can do if uh, if allowed time on the tower, you you really don't want to give them that time. And to be honest, it's pretty easy to stop it from happening. Um, well, that that's that's my point of view. But uh, it's uh, it's still the the uh, fun card to use. Well, as they are new, and well, we'll see if anyone could bring, uh, make a deck with it. I'm I'm gonna try over the next couple of days. See if I can come up with something which is able to go with 3,500 with sort of tournament level cards. Anyway, I played run about 10 games against Abby Knight, is, uh, is my clan. Uh, very good games, we were just messing around. Both of us had to have uh, the, the, the new card in there. Uh, this was the first game we actually played, and he's using a Lava Hound deck, which was uh, very interesting to see, actually. Uh, my, my plan was to, whenever to, I saw him plop down the um, Lava Hound, is to immediately drop down the uh, the elite barbarians, but I don't think he really gave me an option, or I was just sidetracked and thinking about doing something else. Also, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to split my my just normal barbarians on my kick tower, and then see which side he responds to, and then put down my elite barbarians on the other side. And so trying to like pressure both lanes at once, seeing if there's a little weakness on one side, and then going down that side. Uh, it's, it seemed to work pretty well. Uh, but it's, as we can see here, here we go on the right, very lucky, um, Avi did manage to, he played right, he put the Barbarians in the middle, but, his elite Barbarians in the middle, but they got distracted by my Barbarians on the left hand side, uh, kiting them back into that sort of side, allowing my elite Barbarians to take out his tower, but because of that, he was able to take out my bottom left hand tower with that little push. And we have, um, I gave him a laughing face because we um, are pretty much dead even on elixir and on, um, uh, and on tower damage, which is uh, quite entertaining. Um, so we're just going to try and do this again. Trying to get a split off in the middle here. Doesn't work. Uh, they all go down the right hand side. Uh, maybe they, um, maybe I need to put them forward a bit more to stop them from doing that. Uh, I don't really play barbarians that often, so I don't quite know how to get them to split. But I could manage to get the archers split. So here we go, we're just trying to split, uh, again, both down both sides, trying to find a weakness and then push down that side. Uh, he's pushing in with his lava hand and elite barbarians on that right hand side and put down the mine as well, which is actually pretty scary. I drop down my barbarians to distract his elite barbarians. I don't want them to get a single shot off, as I showed. You really don't want that to happen. Um, they, they really do a lot of damage. Uh, but they attack, the attack speed is not that quick, which is... Quite lucky. Um, so he puts down, I see he puts down his uh, love hand in the back and I immediately push in with my lead barbarians. That's why I've been waiting for this whole game, that one moment, and I managed to bring down that tower within, uh, well, within log or dropping archers or spear guns onto the side. So that was, um, that, the, that moment which I was waiting for happened right at the end and able to bring that through. Uh, this next game I'm going to show you is like a giant variant which I'm using. It's, it seems like a very good deck, actually. Um, but again, uh, I talked to Avi about it afterwards, and, I was, and, I was, and we were discussing, actually, maybe... I mean, it's a good deck, but is, would the card be better suited than using Elite Bob Aaron? So we... I mean, we aren't sure. I mean, it's still early days. Uh, we were kind of leaning towards this, it was. But it's, it's, still, it's still good fun. And they do, if they do cut through... They do cut through um, big tank units like Butter... Uh, so that, that, that's something, and so here he's he's using a tower bomber, a bomb tower even, <laughs> uh, to defend. Very nine card. I really don't like it at all. Uh, but able to, to, to well, to, I don't actually get a single bit of damage off. It actually works very well. <laughs> Gives me a laughing face for it because he knows how much I dislike that card. Um, so we're just gonna start slowly and just try and see 
if I can get up on Elixir. I know I'm already up on Elixir. I have that in my mind, but I just want to keep on getting more and more up on Elixir. Ideally, if you're ever, ever able to get six Elixir up on the opponent, so when you're on six and he's on z he or she's on zero, you can, you will be able to do a lot of damage with this surprise attack. And look there, he does a great push in using his minor uh, and and minor and his elite barbarians, able to take up my furs and archers and uh, withstand a log and do 50% damage to my king tower. That was um, it's a really nice little push in actually, a little minor elite barbarian action. Very, very good. Pretty strong actually, if you don't heat to it. And especially as one barbarian went to the blood, uh, to my furnace and the other one went straight to my tower, able to get three or four shots off it. That is uh, definitely worth uh, talking about. We'll, we'll see if he does that again, if I'm able to respond uh, correctly. Uh, so yeah, get my furnace down. I really want to just just try and like use a giant just to push through against him. Uh, so here we go, he's doing the same sort of combination I was thinking about it and decided not to, just drop down a miner to get some damage onto that furnace tower. Uh, and here comes the uh, elite barbarians. Again, look at that, one of which goes straight to my tower again, able to get one, two shots off. That is quite something right there, able to get 600, uh, 600 or 500 damage off. That's like two fireballs equivalent of, so definitely worth that elixir cost right there. Um, but I'm still pushing in with this giant, able to get my minions on top of that tower. That should be goodbye tower right there. And there we go. And that really should be good game. I think I actually allow him to take down my... No, I, <laughs> I was going to say, I think this is the game where I allow him to take down my tower. But <laughs> after placing that furnace there, it doesn't seem like that's the case. Uh, and actually, instead of me... Oh yeah, wow. So instead of... He actually gets it down. Wow. So actually, that wasn't. this is not even a game where I... Uh, let him take it down. There's nothing I could do to stop that attack. So that was really um, well played there. Uh, so here we go. He, um, I'm just going to reset, put the giant at the back, and this should be fine. I, I'm pretty confident I'm going to be able to beat this. I got his king tower already down to half life, which was a great game. <laughs> and um, and we're just going to do one big push. He drops down his elite barbarians on the in the middle there. Not that was. I don't think. I don't think that was the right call to make. Uh, those elite barbarians costing six. That furnace only costing four, and unable to take it down. So I don't think that was probably the most uh, sensible play right there. And with two giants pushing in with uh, supporting troops, I don't think there's. there's I, I kind of know this is going to be um, game over here. I'm up on elixir as well. It's, this is this is going to be it. Uh, but thank you very much if you were watching this, Abby, for uh, playing some games against me. That was really good. Um, yes, I only showed the ones which I won, which is great. Um, he, uh, Abby also played some a very interesting graveyard deck. Uh, at the same time when I was using graveyard deck, this is a graveyard with elite barbarians, and I just got absolutely slaughtered. Uh, so much so that I didn't put it, didn't want to show, I didn't want to show it. That's not that's not true. But it's um, I just wanted to show where the elite barbarians were where they were being used to the most effective that they can be. Anyway guys, I'm going to continue playing with the with the Elite Barbarians to see if I can come up with any good uh, combinations. I mean, that last deck was pretty good. I really like Avi's uh, minor Elite Barbarians push as well. I think there's some potential there. And guys, uh, I've got a, I'm have got having a tournament tomorrow at 3 o'clock UK time. Starting 3 o'clock UK time, it'll be, the name will be Galwas Gaming hashtag number 3. Um, that is just the, the, the number itself, three, all one word, and the password will be YouTube. Anyway, guys, have a great weekend, and I'll see you all next time. Gabba's out.